Hi there. Today, we're going to talk about the RLC combination circuit. Right behind me, we have an atypical combination circuit, and most people would be extremely apprehensive as trying to tackle how to calculate such a, a diverse circuit. Indeed, we've got inductors, resistors, motors, as well as capacitors in this circuit. So not only are we, are we going to be dealing with different branches, but we're also dealing with issues with phase angle, uh, phase angle difference between the voltage and current at different points in the circuit because we have a mixture of resistance, inductance, and capacitance. And that makes things a little bit more complex. But don't worry, I've got a technique that's going to help you solve something like this that you would look at with fear and apprehension and you're going to laugh about it. So stay tuned. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to break down this circuit by the different types of components. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take all the values of resistance. So we've got 2.2 kilowatts, 0.65 kilowatts, 1.2 kilowatts, oh, we can't forget 0.34 kilowatts, and also the motor. Now, we got to bear in mind, the motor has windings. They have resistance value, but in, in addition to the fact that those windings, when we apply voltage and current, are going to have some reactive power. So it counts twice, once as a resistive load, the second time as an inductive load. So all told, I have one, two, three, four, five values. We're going to go and we're going to bunch those up and we're going to add them together. Then we're going to apply the same technique to the other two components, namely the inductors. Now, as I said earlier, the motor counts twice, once as a resistive load, the second time as an inductive load. So that 1.3 K of R's, that's going to be put into the inductive category as well as these two, 0.35 kVar, 0.78 kVar, and over here, the 3.1 kVar. We're going to add those together. And finally, for the capacitors. One, two, three capacitors. We're going to add those together, and then we're going to apply them into our uh, trig formula. Our first order of business is we're going to tabulate and categorize each of these devices according to their type, such as resistors, inductors, and capacitors. I'm going to start with the resistors. Working from left to right, I've got 0 0.34 kilowatts. Now that I've got that down, strike it off. 2.2 kilowatts. 2.2 kW, strike it off, I'm done with him. 0 0.65, taken care of. 1.2, done. And let's not forget our motor, it counts twice, 4.5 kilowatts. Now, I've done the calculations beforehand, and you should be getting, for an answer, 8.89 kilowatts as a total. Don't forget, I've got to cross that out. Now, I've taken care of my resistors. Let's work on the inductors next. Working again from left to right, 3.1 kVar. It's kind of handy that all the values in this circuit were in the same engineering notation, most notably kilo. Okay, 3.1 kVar, done. Where's the next inductor? Oh, right here, 0 0.35. Okay, cross him out. Next one is 0 0.78. Done. And let's not forget our motor, 1.3 kVar. Add these 
all up, and you're going to get, as a result, 5.53 k-bar inductive. Don't forget that L. It's crucial. Now, all that remains is to calculate or tabulate, pardon me, our capacitors. Again, working from left to right, 0 0.83, 2.7, and last, 1.1. We'll find the sum, 4.63 k-bar capacitive. Now, it's simply a matter of taking our totals and we're going to put them into our trig formula. So we're going to move down there and we're going to proceed to do that next. Now that we've tabulated each of those individual devices by category, resistors, inductors, and capacitors, it's simply a matter now of inputting those values into our formula up here on the board. All the resistors, so let's take that value, so 8.89 kilowatts squared plus, open our brackets, 5.53 kvars inductive, subtracting 4.63 kvar capacitive. Close the brackets, square that up. Pardon me if I use a ruler here. Try and make a straight line. Tried to make a straight line. So we input all these values into a calculator, and you should be getting for a result. Now, mind you, the notation is in kilo, and this is our answer is going to be in kVA. We input all these values into a calculator, and our results are going to be a point. 94 kVA. Now, we're also going to want to solve for power factor as well as angle theta. Now, we maintain that the best formula to work from, and especially in this instance, would be from values of power. So, power factor is equal, and it's the ratio of true power, so P divided by apparent power, VA. In this case, 8.89 divided by 8.94. 8.89 kilowatts divided by 8.94 kVA. That's going to give us, as a result, 0 0.9949. We're going to move, because this is going to be expressed as a percentage, so we're going to move the decimal two places to the right. So one, two, and power factor is basically 99.49%. Angle theta, well, with that value still in the calculator, the 0 0.9949, it's a simple matter of depressing negative cosine, so power factor and negative cosine, in this case 0 0.9949 negative cosine and angle theta is going to be 5.78 degrees. 
when working with complex circuits, such as a combination circuit that involves elements of resistance, capacitance, and uh, inductance, or three-phase circuits, the only thing that, that is going to be effective in solving for this is using values of power. And so moving forward, electrical students may want to bear in mind that when you're looking at a situation where it is extremely complex, start taking voltage readings, start taking current readings, and start calculating power. It's the easiest way out of one of those types of calculations. I hope you found today's demonstration useful and it helped you get over any kind of apprehension or fears you may have when having to deal with these complex circuits that involve inductors, resistors, and capacitors. Trust me, working from power is the easiest way to do this. Until next time, please stay safe. Also, if you're enjoying these videos, please, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.